guys. Today we are playing Minecraft. Yes. Y you heard that right. You heard me. You heard me. I, I'm, we're playing Minecraft. You also see this, don't you? Yes, you heard me. Yeah, I know. I I I know. I I know that um Yes, I know. I know this is Pocket Edition, but it's I'm only playing this because I'm broke. So, um just before you complain, I'm just going to tell you that. So, um I'm going to teach you how to uh Start off your world in a uh, in Minecraft. Uh, so so you're gonna want to. Create your world. Just don't do anything, like, just create it. Because, like, the other things, like starter chest and uh, cheats, no, that's not a proper survival world. Those are for noobs. And if you're watching this and you need to watch it, then you're definitely a noob. But, I mean, like, the hell do you really want to do that? So, when you spawn, you might spawn in a desert or a forest. It's the game's choice. If you spawn in a desert, you're gonna have to walk a long while to like the nearest tree, and you're gonna have to start bashing it down. You you don't like pr keep pressing the break button to break it. You're supposed to hold it down for a while and break the wood. Now, to pick it up, it's really simple. You just need to get near it. And then repeat this process until um, you have the whole tree down. And normally a tree would give you about around five or six wood but if it's a large tree then it'll give you much more and um this is not an, an ideal situation because um i'm stuck in the middle of this and you don't want to be stuck somewhere in minecraft because once night comes that's not going to be extremely good now if you find an animal you're gonna have to kill it. Sorry, Peter. Um, because. No, oh, I feel kind of bad. Um, so, because you're gonna get hungry after a while. And if you don't eat, you might starve. And that deals damage to you. And that is not good. Where did the pig go? There you are. After you've... You're done... With the tree punching part, you're gonna have to put your oak... Put your logs in this section. Just like this. Whoop. Then you craft some planks. And make a crafting table like this. Boop. Sticks. After that, we make. You're gonna make a pickaxe. And mine down for stone. Hit 
this thing, this stone with um, grey specks, then you can mine it and it'll give you coal, which is used when you get a furnace. After you mine about seven coal, return to this, no, seven stone, return to the surface. You don't have enough blood, you can dig yourself, you can always dig yourself out. Like this, go to your crafting table and make an axe, and a pickaxe. After you've made your pickaxe, you can go back to my name. And it will mine quicker than the wooden one. table with around 20 cobblestone and make the basic tools all you really need is for starters is a sword a axe and a pickaxe now you're gonna make two furnaces but put them next to the crafting table it can th they can be stacked oh hello by the way don't punch these guys they will become hostile and attack you um it doesn't have to be vertically stacked on top of each other but i just like it that way and after you have your um stuff you can start chopping down you can start chopping down more trees You see, this is a big tree, it will give you a lot more wood, but it's also harder to cut, cut down. And seven wood, that's not actually much much more, but I mean, it's a big tree, but well, whatever, okay. After you've got all your stuff, pick up your um, things and... Um, Go, go to the nearest hill you see. Now for alternatives, you could grab yourself some dirt on like a small hill like this and just hold yourself up in here. That also works, but if you have a hill like this, wait, I'm gonna have to cross the river first. Now, So if you have an ideal landscape like this, you can go to the nearest stone wall and start digging it out. As you can see in the bottom, my food bar is um, getting low. This is why you need to eat. And um, you're gonna mine out like this. This is a two by two. And um, You're gonna mine this out, and after you did do that, you can um, mine the rest out. It can be as big and as tall as you want, or well, as you get to, can get, basically, because depending on your mountain or hill. So after you dug a small area out, place your utility blocks over on the on one of the sides whoops and then craft some doors so you can be I crafted six 
so you can be safe from the monsters and um you can use your coal to um smelt um the food you have you just got so i put some of this in here some of this in here and we wait for it to smelt while you wait for it to smelt you can dig more of this space out and The sun will eventually come down, as you can see the sky is getting darker. And these guys have already spawned. Don't get near them, because they are dangerous. And um... Yeah. As the sun goes down, you see the sky is getting orange. You probably gonna have to stay in here and um, take your food out because it's done and your coal out don't waste coal yep and hear that that's the sound of zombies oh no it's getting dark now this is what you don't want to happen. You don't want anything to get dark in Minecraft because that's how my Minecraft monsters spawn. If you have leftover coal, which you probably should, you you should light up the place in case anything spawns. And then you wait for the next day. See, that's a skeleton. It will shoot arrows at you until you die. That's a spider. It can climb walls. It jumps. is really fast. And you don't want to mess with them. That's a zombie. Really slow. Can't jump properly. This is the least of your worries. You can easily kill him if you just spam, spam attack at him. Really dumb. Ooh. That's how you kill a zombie. Then you should go back in your shelter and mine some more. Because eventually, oh, I found a cave. This isn't good. If you find a cave like this, don't worry. Just light it up and explore around this place, the place, and be careful for any skeletons. Got really lucky finding this. Um, you might hit this, or you might hit this. A baby zombie. These are really fast. They can do a lot of damage. There's more. No. No, no, no. You might die, but this is okay. That That's not okay. If, eventually, you'll have to respawn and somehow find your way back. So, if you die like this, that's in the night. It isn't good because... You're gonna have to deal with a lot of monsters finding your way back. Especially in a forest where there isn't much light that can come in at all. Now, I see my home over there. But I'll have to cross the river, which has a bit of monsters. Which might be a problem. So, what you... What you do if you die in the middle of the night and spawn back here, you're gonna have to dodge a few 
monsters before um, getting back. And um, you see, these guys are coming for me. And like, you don't want to get hit by them like I just did. Because that's just... You see, that's my home, and um, these green guys, they um, blow up. See? And that's what you don't want them to do, because if you don't have armor and you're really unlucky, they can insta-kill you. And I'm pretty sure that baby zombie is still in there. If you die, you must retrieve all your loot. And, um, what? Oh, that skeleton's up there. This isn't ideal. Okay. So that's gone. And we wait for the day. You see, this, this thing is called a creeper. It will blow up. And if you time it right, then you might get its stuff. And if you're, you're hungry, then you should eat. Because that's what eating is for in Minecraft. Cover this up now, and we wait, wait for the next morning. Eventually, your pickaxe will um, break after too long, like it just did, and you're going to have to make a new one. That's a leather armor zombie. You don't want to mess with the guys with armor. That's not a good idea. How long is the... shorter a bit so for now you're gonna have to stay in here And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a guy. You don't want to mess with him because he's he has armor, but now he's attacking me. You have to. See how dumb they are? Yeah, those are zombies. <laughs> Ow. No. It has the high ground. Okay. And now you want to go back. Because you don't want to deal with a massive order of zombies. <laughs> 
That's an Enderman. You do not want to look at it. They are dangerous. But if you're in a too wide hole like this, then you can just... This wasn't such a good idea, was it? Ow. Haha, <coughs> <coughs> idiot. It took fall damage. <coughs> oh! This is why you don't mess with Enderman. Yeah. Wait, is it in here? Okay. These guys do a lot of damage, which is why you shouldn't mess with them. To fight an Enderman, you gotta do this, which is really annoying. But you should get used to it after a while. And now, we're, it's day now, so. Ow. This is why you don't mess with Enderman. I killed it! Cool. So I killed it. And we're going back to mining. You see, there is a zombie. You should always be careful when you're around. That's a cave entrance. And uh, this is probably where I'm gonna end off part one of my Minecraft tutorial. So, um.